so uh, I'm going to go through what a while loop is now. We've done uh, looping, okay, and that's where we can get code to repeat and repeat, okay, or another word is iterate. Um, and we've used for loops to do that, and that's great when we know how many times uh, we want to repeat something. Um, but sometimes we want to loop um, some code whilst a condition is uh, either not true or it's true. Basically, we're waiting for something to change, a condition to change, and um, when it changes, then the loop will stop running. Okay. Uh, yeah, so just to explain what that is all about, uh, you can see on my screen here on this replica, okay, I have some code here, and this is similar to what you've been doing before uh, with your quiz questions. And I'm gonna go and just explain this code to you. Um, Okay, in fact, let's just run it first of all. Let's run, what's the capital of France? Let's put in there, I don't know, London. Uh, you got it wrong, try again. Uh, okay, uh, Bombay. You got it wrong, try again. Okay, let's try Paris. Ah, well done. Okay, so what's going on in here is the question, okay, uh, is being repeated and repeated until I get it correct, okay? And there's a simple way of doing this using while loops. So once again, uh, I've set a variable, I've called mine answer, and it is going to equal whatever someone inputs, okay, after being asked this question. And then I've got a piece of code here, and it starts with while. So that means you're gonna loop, okay? Um, and while, and then we've got the variable answer, and this time we're using this here, it's an exclamation mark and an equal sign, okay? And that means, I've written it in the, the little comments above, but it means not equal to, okay? So when you do an exclamation mark and an equal sign, that means not equal to. So the question is, well, um, while the answer is not equal to Paris, so that basically means whilst they're getting it wrong, okay? Print out, you got it wrong, try again. And then we have the variable, again, answer equals to input. This just allows them to type in, okay, an answer again, and it stores it as answer. Now, every time they type something in, that goes in answer. It checks, the loop checks, okay. It does, an is answer not equal to Paris, okay. So, you know, whilst whatever they're typing in is not equaling this word Paris, it's going to keep repeating and repeating. Now, as soon as answer <laughs> does equal Paris, okay, it kicks us out of this loop, all right? And then the statement, this here, will then appear on the screen. But this won't appear until we are kicked out of this loop. And that will only happen when the answer equals Paris. Because whilst it is not equaling Paris, it just keeps repeating. Okay, so let's run it again quickly. What's the capital of France? I don't know, let's put in Harvey. Uh, you got it wrong, try again. John, what? You got it wrong, Paris. Okay, well done. Okay, so that's using a, a while loop um, like that with a quiz. Now, let's just clear that because eventually we want you to build a text-based adventure game. So, um, do, do, do. let's just comment that out and I shall bring this code I've got down the bottom here up. Okay, so um, we have a look at this code here. And... Okay, so this we're actually going to use uh, what we call a boolean to help us do something here. So I'm going to run this code. You're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, let's move that across there. Which way do you want to go? Okay, so like if we were playing a text-based adventure game, we've been asked to go, uh, do we want to go in a particular direction? Okay, it could be a door. Okay, it could be, you know, what option would be like, you know, if we're given a riddle, you know, do you want to choose uh, the, the answer of a squirrel, a rabbit, or whatever, okay? Anything where we've got options, okay? Um, which way do you want to go? North, south, east, or west? Type N, S, E, or W, okay? Well, let's type in Harvey. Uh, what did you just type? Okay, so we've been reminded our answer must be N, S, E, or W. Try again, I don't know, let's go John again, yep. But then let's just try uh, north, you know, where we're going to put N. Now oh, you go north, okay? So obviously this game isn't going to go very far at the moment, but this is just a concept of using a while loop to show you how we can repeat a question over until we get what we're looking for, 
Okay, so let's look at the code on this then. So what we do is we create a variable, and this is a boolean. Okay, I know we've mentioned this once before, but we haven't really used them. So we create a variable, I called it correct choice, okay? And I set it equal to true. Just a reminder, boolean's either true or false. So I've set this to true, okay? And then I've asked my question, I've called it direction, okay? It's gonna ask for input, and we've got that question there, and we're looking for them to type N, S, E, or W. So what we do is we use our while loop. We go while correct choice is equal, equal to true, okay? And we set it to true at the start here, so it is equal to true. So this is going to run, this code in here will run because correct choice does equal true. So while correct choice here is equal, equal to true, whilst that condition is true, all right? If direction, and I'm using this little thing here that checks to see, it will turn whatever they've typed in here, for direction, whatever they type in, it will capitalize, it will put it into capitals. So if direction equaled N, it's gonna show on the screen, you go north, okay? Just as it did here. All right, I typed in N, you go north. Now the key thing here is, what we wanna do is we wanna then get kicked out of this while loop. We don't want it to continue, okay? So what we do is we then set correct choice, this Boolean was true, and now we're gonna set it to false. And guess what? Because it's set to false, this is then checked, this condition, while correct choice is equal, equal to true, well, it isn't true anymore. So the loop will not continue. At this point, when we then set it to false, this loop will stop and it will kick us out of the loop. Okay. Um, and that would be good if we wanted then to continue with our story. We could then print, uh, I don't know, something like, you wander off. Okay. So once again, we could run that. Okay, I'm going to put in N, small n, just to test it works with the capitalization. You go north and then you wander off. This then occurs. Notice the indents. Okay, anything that we want to be part of this loop, this while loop. Okay, notice the little two dots there, the colon. Everything is indented that belongs inside that loop. Okay, all of this must be indented. If you have a look on REPL, it's nice because it does a line so you can see. Okay. Uh, let's run it again. Let's try, okay, well, let's do, you know, let's say John, okay? So that is because the else is occurring here. I haven't done S, N, E, or W, okay? So else occurs, all right? And then that's why that question comes up, and then I ask for a new input for direction, all right? And then direction can be tested again, each of these ifs and elifs. So that's how we use uh, that's a couple of ways that you can use while loops, okay? They are testing to see if a condition is being met, whether it occurs or not, all right? Um, and we've used a Boolean here, and then in the uh, quiz question up here, okay, we just used a new technique using uh, testing to see if something is not equal to. So, uh, I would like you, I can give you the code, once again, it is below uh, this uh, video, okay, and you can see the code link uh, to this replit I have here, all right, and I would like you to practice uh, your quiz question, doing another quiz question, but using a while loop like this and testing to see if the answer is not equal, okay, to what you're looking for, all right, so using while loop and using the not equal technique here, all right, and you'll be able to see my code, I'll leave it here for you to um, check as well. And then I would like you to do something similar to this here. Now there's quite a bit of code, so this could take you a bit of time, but I'd like you to try and practice something like this, okay, where you're checking to see if someone has gone north, south, east or west, or through a blue, red, green or um, black door, okay, uh, or answering different things like different objects you want to get out to kill a beast, okay, and one object will do one thing and another object will do another, okay? But I would like at least three options using the while loop and using a Boolean to test whether the condition is being met or not, okay? And you can use my code to help you do that, all right? So these is the last set of skills and then we'll be diving into yeah, a project, which is building a text-based game. So all of this stuff that you're doing 
here, okay, is going to help you build your game um, next, okay? Signing out.